Editing with Opus Clip, if you even need to, because a lot of times the clips are ready to post as is. But if you do need to polish the AI curated clips, then editing with Opus Clip has gotten exponentially better with the release of Editor 2.0. So in this video, I'm gonna get you quickly up to speed on all of the amazing new features. So don't blank because just like editing in Opus Clip, this is gonna go fast. The first thing to notice is we've got text-based editing. We've got captions, auto captions already done for us in our style. We can modify our template and we've got presets that I've created. We could turn on this word highlighter and it chooses keywords. And there is a split screen button so that we can reframe if we want to. Many of those basics have been around from the beginning. I wanna get you guys up to speed on the new features. Okay, one of the biggest changes that we've made is the timeline. It works very differently now. If you create a split in the timeline, you can now reorder the timeline. You can also grab the ends of each clip and shorten or lengthen the clip. You can also now drag the captions wherever you want on the screen. That's cool. So when you jump from section to section, you can see the placement of the captions also changes. Editors are gonna love this one. You can now move through the timeline frame by frame using the arrow keys left and right. You can also zoom in on the timeline using the plus and minus keys. And if you wanna instantly fit the entire timeline in view, you can press the backslash key. And if you wanna add it and edit to wherever the playhead is, you can press D and that will create an edit. And you can also press the one key to go to the start of the sequence. And if you wanna know what all the shortcuts are that are possible, you can go right up here to this keyboard shortcuts key and it'll show you everything that's possible for Mac and Windows. One of the coolest new features is the addition of AI B-roll. And you can do this in a number of ways. You can simply press this B-roll key it's gonna watch your video and choose a bunch of places where it thinks B-roll would be appropriate. And now look, it's selected a few spots. Let's see how it did. You know, any of the biggest brands in the world, the ones that are crushing it, especially the influencers. Pretty good. And also, if you're not happy with the placement of the B-roll, you can move it around, you can order them however you want. Let's say you wanted some B-roll for just writing on the wall. You can highlight that, press B-roll, add AI B-roll, and it will make it for that specific piece of text. No more paying for a stock image or video site. It's all integrated in the Opus editor and it's very fast. All right, let's check these AI enhanced features out. So we've got some new things. We've got speech enhancement, remove filler words, remove pauses, and auto sensor. With speech enhancement, it's gonna remove background sounds, including music and overlapping speech. If you wanna remove some filler words, like in this video, I've got a bunch of filler words that showed up even in the captions. But if we click AI enhanced, remove filler words, now we have five filler words were removed and you can see right there, it changed the captions. It'll do the exact same thing with pauses, but in this case, there were no silences found. Let's say you did a podcast and your guest was a bit of a potty mouth. Auto sensor is gonna quickly and easily find those bad words. It's gonna put some asterisks on the caption and it's gonna audibly bleep the word. Let's say we wanna go from this intro to the video. Now we've got transitions. Crossfade, cross zoom, zoom in, zoom out, fade in, fade out. So let's try a little bit of a crossfade here. Just drag it onto the timeline and great. And let's say you want to add a header, heading text. You can do that, move it around, add your text over here. And if you want some body text, you can do the same thing. You can choose the placement or length of that as well. That's just a quick run through of Opus Clip's new editing features. If you've been paying attention, you know Opus Clip has been improving so fast. It feels like every time you come back, there's something new. And this editor is gonna keep getting better every week with the goal of having an experience that's as fast as your favorite editing platform, whether that's Premiere or Final Cut or DaVinci so that you can have the best of both worlds with an AI assistant editor that does 90% of the work for you and then also a blazing fast timeline editor experience as well. I'm Emmett Short, creative director over here at Opus Clip. Check back in often for new features and tutorials. They're coming out all the time. I'll see you soon.